Hello guys, I am Ashutosh Kumar I'm to teach you all guys C programming. So first off, we need to know what is C. C is a general purpose programming language and it was developed by Dennis Ritchie at AT&T Labs. So many gaming frameworks and operating system like Unix, Linux and most part of Android is written in C. So this was the very basic idea about the C language. Now how we learn C language? So when I am telling you all this, I assume that you do not have any fundamental knowledge of programming language. So uh, how we learn English language? Before learning English languages, uh, English or any other language, we learn about alphabets, words and then we compose sentences. This is the same way we learn C. So C also have alphabets, digits and special symbols. The alphabets are from A to Z, digits 0 to 9 and special symbols like dollar, underscore and and so on. So I will come to constants, variable and keywords on later stage. Before we discuss these things, let me tell you the basic syntax, C syntax structure. The basic syntax structure of C is like this. First off, we have to write this line, has, include, stdio.h. This is known as header file. Then we have a thing known as main function void main. This is opened by curly braces and closed by again by curly braces. So we will analyze these statements or this header files and main function in depth on later stages. For now, we will assume that we have to write this basic construct for every C program. Okay. Now, what is this main function? This is a function which will contain, which is a container of all the statements that we will write in C. A statement is basically the instructions that we fed into the program lang programming language. So, let me tell you how we will print hello world, the first program in C. So for that, that we have a function known as printf function. We write printf and the message that we want to print on the screen, hello world. This is semicolon. So in C, every statement is terminated by this. This is actually the statement terminator. So we know that this is a main function. We have to write this main function for every C program. So this will enclose all our statements or instructions. This is header file. For now, assume that whenever we write printf, this is required. There is some mechanism, there is some communication between these two. Okay. We will analyze in depth what this header file will be doing. For now, we will write in every C program. So this was the very first C program. Now, coming to constants, variables and keywords. What are constants, what are variables and what are keywords? So, suppose we, have, we write 5, 6, 7. These are constants. In C, these are treated as constants. Again, A, B, these are constants. Okay. Now, keywords. Keywords. We have 32 keywords in C. So these are keywords which have a special meaning in C. And variables, variables are those things in which we can assign some value. So in the due course of programming, that value will be changed accordingly. For example, X, Y, Z, this will be the variables. So every constants are known as literals in C. And variables are generally termed as identifiers and keywords are like int, auto. 
सो दीज थिंग्स वी विल एनालाइज इन डेप्थ इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर थैंक यू ऑल